Narcissistic people can say some really hurtful things to you. This is true. But I think it's important that we remember this, that the nasty opinions and views that come out of narcissistic people is their problem. They're the source of that. So really, it should make life suck for them, not for you. Don't allow the narcissistic person's projections onto you to weigh you down. It's not your burden to carry. Let the narcissistic people carry the weight of their own nasty opinions in this life. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I continue, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. Down in the description box below this message, you'll find access for one-on-one appointments with me. In addition to that, I have a brand new life coaching program where I teach every day, Monday through Friday, live with questions and answers. It's only $49 for the entire month. I encourage you to get registered. And if you do need that one-on-one help, I'm available for you. So get down there and find the help that you need right now. Now, we're talking about the nasty projection from narcissistic people, which can be very hurtful. I stumbled across this in my own personal experience with narcissists. It was about three or four years ago. I was engaged in an altercation online with a narcissistic person from California, and this person was calling me all kinds of names and insulting me like narcissists typically do, calling me selfish and judgmental and on and on and on. And it did hurt, and it bothered me, as it it would anybody. Nobody likes to allow all this negative energy to just be thrown up on them, right? And that's what I felt like. I just had all this stuff vomiting uh, onto me from this person. And I remember my response was at that time, listen, this is, these are just your views. I, I don't, I don't accept it. It's not my views. It's your views. And I said this, you get to live with your views of people. Now at the time, because I was riled up and Uh, emotionally and because I was engaged and well, you know what it's like to be engaged with a narcissistic person that's insulting you nonstop. I was riled up. So I didn't really appreciate the weight of what I said. It just kind of came out. I didn't really even fully comprehend that statement. These are your views and you get to live with your views of people. Let's just sit here for a moment and, and let that sink into you. The narcissistic people who are nasty with their words, who are nasty with their opinions of you and of other people. They are the source of that nastiness. Are they not? It didn't come from you. It came from them. It's what's in them. I want to talk quickly about this idea of projection. How many of you have heard of projection When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, we all know that they project onto others. They project uh, their hurts. They project their anger. They project their, the things they are doing in life to mess up. They project everything. What is a projector? I want you to grab an image of a projector. Do you got it? A projector is a source. It's a source of light that projects an image onto a screen, onto a bed sheet, onto a wall. It projects onto anything. But the point is that the projector is the source. The projector is the light. Now, when we talk about narcissists projecting, understand that what comes out of their mouth comes from their light. They're the source. It's pretty nasty light. I mean, I, I wouldn't even call it a night, a light. I would call it a, a void, right? Or, or dark matter. Whatever the case is, it's their source. So all of the ugly, nasty comments and all the ugly, nasty things they say about you is from their very inner being. It's the source of light that you're dealing with. It's their curse. It's their life. It's who they are. This should make life suck for them. It's interesting. The Bible says that it's not what goes into a person that defiles them, but it's what comes out of a person. That is what's defiling. I think if we break this biblical understanding down, what's really being said here is that it's the source of light. It's the source of a person's energy that defiles them. So no matter what the narcissistic person has said to you that may have hurt, 
and it can hurt. I know. Remember that the defiled one is not you. It's not what goes into the person that defiles them. It's what comes out of the person. That's what's defiling to a person. So it's their source. The biblical, the ancient biblical understanding is that it's the source that's defiled. It's that narcissist that is that darkness, that dark energy, that void, if you will. If there is a light, if there's any kind of light within a narcissistic person, it's a barely breathing, barely pulsing light that is so low and so about to die that the only way for that projector, that narcissist to project onto anybody is to bring them close. This is why narcissists work so hard to get you close to them through love bombing. And if love bombing doesn't work, a narcissist will use guilt, whatever they can, to get you to become so close to them that you feel then their projection onto you. But the key thing in this message to remember is that their nasty opinions of you, their name calling, their storytelling, they're making you up to be a bad person. How many of you have dealt with that? Say I. In fact, I challenge you right now, leave in the comment section some of the nastiest things that the narcissistic person has said to you or about you behind your back. I'll start. I'll start this thread. I'll, I'll put one on there right now. I want you to remember something. That the narcissistic person psychopathically believes that you are really that nasty thing that they said, then what you ought to do is stand back and say, wow, what a dark light that has to come from. What a dim, flickering, barely breathing light. What a sucky thing to have a life that that comes out of. And I'm not saying this so you can feel sorry for narcissists. I'm not saying this so you can even have compassion on them. I'm definitely not saying it so you can pity them. You don't have to do any of that. Simply recognize it. The purpose of this message is to get you to not wear it. Don't wear their projection. Listen, a projector requires a screen, does it not? All you are in the narcissist's life is a screen. All you are is something to catch that dimly lit light. So all you have to do is remove yourself. Don't be their screen. (laughs) Be a screen for a greater light. Something that's going to project good things onto you. That's going to project love onto you, encouragement onto you. These are the things that you want to reflect back. Not name calling, insults, nastiness, the dying, barely breathing, flickering, dark matter energy of a narcissist? Understand that what comes out of the narcissist should defile them. It is their curse that they get to walk this earth in, viewing people through the insults, the insulting lens that they see the world is because of that dark energy, that dark light. That is their curse to sort out. It's their burden to carry not yours. So appreciate the weight of this message and what I'm trying to tell you. You don't have to carry the nasty comments. Even though they hurt, they're not yours to carry. Don't carry them. You simply were a screen where these projections were able to reflect. Don't carry it. It's You're not the source. Thank God you're not the source of these nasty things. So allow the narcissist to carry the burden of their nastiness allowed them to carry the weight, allowed them to carry their own curse of nasty views and opinions of people, of the world, and of you. Let it go. And you focus on the projection that you put out. That's the second part of this, right? I could probably make another video on this, and I ought to, But the goal in this life is to understand that you are also a projector. You shine. But what are you going to shine out there? Huh? It's up to you. 
in a narcissistic relationship, you reflect back their negative energy. So don't do that anymore. Instead, realize that you are a light. You are a projector. You shine. Go out there and shine onto others the beauty that is within you. Show everybody how bright your projector light is. Right? Don't worry about the narcissist nasty views. Their burden, their curse, life must suck for them. And they will take it to their dying day. Let them. Simply understand, it's not for you. As I said before, I'm here to support you. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one appointments with me. In addition to that, brand new life coaching program where I coach every day, Monday through Friday. It's only $49, so get down there and get registered. I am available for one-on-one support calls. Whatever it is you're going through with a narcissistic person, family, or a job, I am here to help you. So go down there, schedule some time with me, and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal We. Before I go, I encourage you to watch this video right here. This video is recommended by the YouTube algorithm. I encourage you to watch this video, and I will be back. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We.